Imagine building an app with just text. I'm not talking about a web app here. I'm talking about a native mobile app. Basically for a while, our React Native developers or export developers have been left on the sideline uh, with this whole new wave of AI. And at some point I even gave up myself um, because I could see that there's a lot of progress happening in terms of uh, the AI code generators. And I thought that will be the way for React Native de developers. Basically, we're gonna just end up just using uh, Kesa or WinSelf or any other uh, browser-based agents uh, to build React Native app. I never thought that it'll be will have the ability to actually just prompt like how you would do it when you are using Bolt. Like um, so, it was something which just far from my imagination that uh, it will come this soon. But basically, it's here. So right now, it's sitting up in the AI space. Companies like Bolt.new and Replit are. At the forefront of this basically they allow us react native developers to create or iterate on different apps by using just text so basically in a similar way how you'd use bolt.new to create a website now you can use bolt.new to create a react native app a pure native app um, and you do this simply by just prompting. Si a similar announcement has been made by Replit as well. Uh, we know that with Replit, uh, with their agent, you can actually also with them use React Native as a core for building a mobile app using AI. So these two platforms are giving us something which is similar on both on both cases but then they just differ slightly um, and I'll do some follow-up videos on how they differ but then in summary you could see that sometimes that Replit focuses more on that native feel the ability to have more control over the native parts of the actual app that you're using um, even though like the starting ground for both of them is Expo and uh, Expo Dev Client, not not Dev Client, but the Expo Go, uh, which is the easy way out. Um, but uh, you can, because both apps are using Expo Router, um, so you have all the magic and all the nice things which come with Expo Router. These are like exciting developments and i can't wait to actually play more with these apps to see what we can do i know it's something that many developers especially react native developers have been talking about whether should we be embracing ai um because we know now that if the if we're if you're able to actually make apps with ai there won't be any more jobs for us um but this is like further from the case uh what what i've seen with just playing around with these ai apps that i'm able to iterate faster try out different strategies all the code that normally would take ages to to run in the different variations this can be done par in parallel and i can see which version i can go with so you must tune out, tune in to uh, my following videos. I'm going to play around with these uh, AI apps to see which one is best and to see what are the strengths and weaknesses of each. And I know that it's still early days, but it's still crazy nonetheless that we are able to do this uh, thing right now, uh, create native apps with Expo uh, using AI. If you're excited for this, uh, Feel free to uh, let me know about uh, how you feel about this and also look out for the next videos. Cheers, y'all.